Uh oh, Fat Jay. Yeah. You know he could food. No, I, I, no. Oh, why? I love fast food, man. I love it. No, no fast food for you. No fast food. No. No. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jay, and I'm fat. I'm Jay, and I'm also fat. We are two fat Jays. Hello and welcome everyone. We are two fat Jays. Fat Jays, man. Fat Jays. Get it right. Who are you talking to? I'm not talking to you, man. Look, I'm looking right at you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. This this stupid one over here or over over yeah, here. Yeah, that guy right over there. See that guy? This is how you can follow more about him. Yeah. This is how you can follow more about me and what you're watching this on one of those channels right now. What uh -oh. up, Jack? Somebody likes Jack. Yeah. Jack is back, man. And we also have our own Instagram account. We are. Yep. Five days. Be sure to follow. Right. Follow. So, Jay... Apparently, you uh, let the jack out of the bag. Wait, what? No. You're, uh, Why is the jack in the box when they give it to you in a bag? I don't know. Do you think they would give it to you in a box? These usually come in a box and we're over by my house, but and this usually comes in a box. This sandwich, yeah. but both came in a bag, which I got them over there by uh, Disneyland and Anaheim. So, Well, what did you different. get? I got me, man, seven-piece jalapeno poppers, man. The best jalapeno poppers I can actually find anywhere. And they give you a good ranch dipping sauce. No, I, I don't like the ranch. Crispy chicken club sandwich with bacon, ranch dressing, Those cheese, nasty bread things. lettuce and tomato, your favorite? The lettuce is fine. <laughs> well, yeah. Tomatoes. One looks good. One look... Oh, well, actually, I'm going to. Uh oh, there it is. Dr. Pepper story, Zero huh? Sugar. Watch that sucker down. <laughs> so I got um, something called a Sando. Sandu. Looks good. It's got chicken strips, fries. Cheese sauce, something they they call good good sauce. I'm thinking it's probably just like ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together. Could be. And then there's bacon on it, and it's on a brioche kind of hot dog bun. Brioche. So that looks good. Brioche. I got a large combo, so I got fries. I got a cherry coke. Um, I wanted to get. They had a uh, Girl Scouts the mint shake all over the menu and plastered on their their windows, but apparently they don't have it. So hopefully uh, I'll go back tomorrow and see if I can find it. If if I do, yeah. then it'll be added on to the end of this. And then uh -oh. they have um, it's is, this is Tuesday night uh, on the recording of this uh, on their website. It mentions two free tacos um, for Tuesday night tacos. And they told me you had to at, order through the app, even though it doesn't say that anywhere on their website. So oh, after man. arguing, going back and forth, I got my two free tacos. So yeah. there you go. I win. Um, so, yeah, everything looks good. It's been a while since I had the tacos. But I'm interested to try this chicken. What is this even called? Chicken or classic Spice. chicken sauce and loaded sando combo. All right, but is it uh, are there two kinds? There's there's a spicy and a regular. All I don't right. know what the spicy is. Maybe it's buffalo. I, I don't know, but I'm not a fan of the buffalo. Or, sauce. Um, Maybe the sauce instead of yeah. I know. 
Actually, maybe I can look. Frank's hot sauce probably is on one of them. Let me see what it says. I'm going to eat me a uh, jalapeno popper. Spicy. A big um, chunk of cheddar in here, man. It just has jalapenos on it. Actually, right. like little slices of jalapeno. That's, yeah, that's the only difference. Oh, there's ranch on there, too. So what is good, good sauce? <laughs> Spicy good, good sauce. And jalapenos. <laughs> oh, that's the latest thing. It's good, good sauce. I don't know what it is, though. See, this one has, like, actual what looks like red sauce on it. But the other one does not. There's no wording of Frank's Red Hot or anything like that on it? No, but it says Jack's Good Good Sauce. And the other one's Spicy Good Good Sauce. So put your finger in there and dip your finger in the good good sauce and try it out. What is it? Well, I mean, I, I see the white cheese sauce and then there's ranch. So what else is the good good sauce? I have no idea. Here's a fry on it, though. It can get a little messy. Lots in this chicken sandwich right now. See, I still kind of taste mayonnaise too. I think the good good sauce is probably ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together. All right. So I was craving this, this chicken sandwich. Yeah, this thing is pretty big. That's what she said. How much you think something like that was? I didn't give me my receipt, so I don't know. Let me look it up. All right, so the Harbor Boulevard, almost down by Disneyland, where I got this Jack in a Box at. Cheaper than the one down by me, further down Harbor Boulevard. Which is kind of weird. And this chicken sandwich is uh, pretty good. Yeah, I've gotten that one before. This thing is kind of messy. Okay. Where I am in Arizona, this by itself. About the combo is seven ninety nine. That's a pretty expensive sandwich. Seems like it. But I mean, like I said, it's pretty big. There's there's a lot of shit in here. So is it what two chicken strips or something? Um, probably. It just says chicken strips, but I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty big. So at least jalapeno poppers are better than my favorite. The outer housing is awesome. It's crunchy. Big chunk of cheddar inside of them. If you go to the store to try to find these, they got like cream cheese inside of some of the funky cheeses. Mozzarella, cream yeah. cheese, but love cheddar. Looks messy. Yeah, it's a bit. The fries and the bacon are kind of sitting on top, so they want to fall off. Is it super, well, you're taking a bite, but is it super saucy? It is, um, but it seems like most of the sauce is right on top where the fries and bacon is. That's good. Yeah, but I mean, it falls off right with it. Or you have to eat that part first, so. Tuck it. Yeah. Well, I mean, they. Get a fork and tuck it. They should put some sauce in there and then put the chicken strips. That's why you gotta dismantle it and flip it and then eat it. Mm. 
think Jack the Box is probably on. But, I was say either that or they just fucking do that for me, you know. <laughs> well, why do I have to dismantle yeah, this custom, sandwich? Custom order and see if they do it. Could you make it and then uh, turn it inside out for at least, and then I could eat it without it falling apart? I wonder how many states Jack in the Box are in because it started out in San Diego over here. I don't know. I'm trying to remember if we had them in Boston when I lived there. No, they said cheers. Yeah. You you ever been to cheers? Yeah. It's it's actually lo- locals don't usually go there. More of a tourist thing. And then people are usually disappointed. Well, now they have a part where it actually looks like the bar. It's like a separate thing, but before they never had that. It was just the outside that they used. So people would go there and they're disappointed. The date on the outside is not real. The what? All right, so you got Cheers established in 18-something, whatever it is. I thought that wasn't legit. I don't know if the bar has been there, but, but that building's been there. That, all, all those buildings right there are old. So that's like um, South Boston. You're right next to basically, it's right across the street from Boston Common. All right. Big park, which is where that bench was where, um, you know, um, Goodwill Hunting and uh, Ron Williams sat on the bench and all that. Yeah. I used to work right by there, by the uh, the old South Church. I used to get off to go-, go to South Station. The old South Church, and then it was the old North Church. The old North Church is where Paul Revere rode and hung the lantern and all that. It was kind of cool because you used to go there, and there's like people dressed like, like Benjamin and Franklin, like doing tours and stuff. It's kind of cool. How many, years, how many years ago was that, that you were living out there? Before I came here, so I moved out there in just after 9-11, so 2002, I think, and um, I don't remember the year I came here, but I've been here about 15 years, maybe. So in Arizona? Was, yeah, I think I was out there for like seven years in Boston. You were out here in Cali too, right? Yeah, before moving to Boston. So, 2002 until I grew up in Redondo. Moved to Huntington Beach. That's where I started doing my Disney love and all that. And then um, and then the Boston and then out here. A permanent spot now. Arizona. For now. If I could come back out there and do it like the right way, I would. Too expensive out here. Yeah, but the whole Disney thing, I think, like business wise, I think I would do better out there. Went to the Great Maple. Yeah. Big shots only. Big shots only were in there, actually. I don't think it was a lot of cast members. There were cast members, but they're all like suit and tie and big shots in there. Huh. Well, maybe the cast members get to go in there later. And then up on the third floor, they didn't tell me what it was going to be, but there was some kind of chef up there, so something's going to happen tomorrow, I bet, up there on the third floor. What's the third floor? Is that how you get to the pool? Yeah. So maybe... Yeah, get to well, the pool. already open, didn't they? The one by the pool? Well, the pool's all open. open. Yeah, the pool's restaurant? all open, but the... The what? That restaurant that's out there was that open already? I'm gonna I'm gonna guess tomorrow because I said I saw a chef and some cast member coming out of the little octagon place. It used to be the sandbar, but hmm. they were too busy. I couldn't ask. This is good, but. As I said, it's just dry in the bottom. 
You know, we yeah, should put good. some sauce down there. Yeah, you just sauce it up and then put the why well, next time if you ever get it. Tell them to sauce it up on the inside, then put everything in. It's a good combination of sauces, though. Like, I like it. And the bacon just, like, has that extra goodness, you know? Is it strips of bacon or is it pieces? It's little little bites. So not strips, not, not bits, but it's like chunks. All right. Because I see it advertised. Maybe I'll try one. So, while the bun is good, it's just all dry now. But the chicken strips are good tacos. anyway. You need those tacos right now or what? Yeah. No more jalapeno poppers. This big old chunk of freaking chicken. You say give me enough chicken when you uh, order these sandwiches. Yeah. They don't skimp. Ketchup, bro. Look, it says two free tacos with the app only. Look. <laughs> it does not say that. Look, look, look. Yeah, yeah right there, guys. About tacos. Maybe that's what they implied by earning points. Actually, hang on. Oh, let's find the cheapest thing on the menu, and you go on the app, and we'll give you the cheapest thing for free. Isn't that nice? Oh, that's nice. Well, I mean, first off, like, got fucking crumbs everywhere. Well, I mean, I'm going through the drive through I'm not going to be like, oh, hang on a second. Okay, I got the app. Just give me the fucking things for free. Like, it's stupid. Yep. And second, I mean, what if I ordered... DoorDash or whatever. And hang on, let me let me call from the different app, you know? Like just I don't care about your app. Your app sucks anyway. I just use DoorDash. Why do you have a separate app? That doesn't make any sense at all. Earn points. That's Hi, like can, you give me the, can you give me the app number for the free tacos? Right. If if all I'm doing is collecting points, then DoorDash would just be doing that for me, you know? It doesn't make any sense to have your own app these days. Anyway, taco. I always walk in because I always custom order my food, so I don't want to go through the drive through and, well, I'll take this, minus this, add that, then a little dab of this, and a little touch of that, and then, you know, make sure you uh, then I just walk in. Yeah, I get that. I can't go wrong on these. Man, I was watching what show was it, man? It was like, oh man, it was an old 70s show. Dang, what was it? Oh, the Rockford Files. He was eating those tacos back in the early 70s, as in oh. going through the a jack in the box back then on the show. Those things have been around. I didn't know they'd been around that long. You're lucky. Oh, oh. Yeah. Now these you are the regular ones. for a second. Oh, these are the regular tacos. They have the monster tacos too, which I don't know if they had them right now. Yeah, but... that's what I usually get. Well, um, ours have it two for three bucks, and they're twice as twice. Yeah, they're twice the size of that. Yeah, three bucks, man. All gone. Oh, that's upside down. 
I should have got curly fries. Uh, du- double Jack. Oh, man, the guy in front of me, man, he ordered like seven large curly fries, seven large regular fries, then a bunch of other food. Like, man, what's he ordering for? Huh. Oh, his bill came up to be like 42 bucks, too, as a wow. fast food, man, 42 bucks. Here's mine. Grand total, twelve fifty nine for seven jalapenos and a chicken club sandwich. Which for fast food, man, I can get stuff cheaper elsewhere, but it's good. I like it. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I like mine. I would definitely get it again. Well, I'm always a jack in the box. I love that place. Some stuff is uh, um, hit or miss with me, but I like their egg rolls. Yeah, see, I can't do egg rolls. I don't think cabbage. Yeah, and they're amazing. They're huge. You get three pack, and they're, they're like five bucks or something like that. That you don't like them, but Adam Lou had them in a video. You know, he was out. Of, he was out in a parking lot. It was jack in the box. He got. I think he got jalapenos, the um, two tacos, and those um, egg rolls. I've never tried them, so I went after that. Man, those things are awesome. Hmm. Uh, that was a wet one. Juicy. It was juicy. <laughs> Finished it, man. I still have another taco, but I'm gonna eat it off the camera. No, send it use... over my way. Oh, here, here's send the, the top of my way. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna give these to my dog. Right. No cameo appearance of the dog yet. She right here. Just knows not to get up at you at the moment. I keep pushing her down. Come on. Come on. Now you don't want to come up. That's come weird. I got you keep pushing her down. I shouldn't be trying to get her up anyway. I'm trying oh, to get yeah. her not do that. It's not so much me, it's like everyone else who comes over and she just jump on them. And the only way I can get her. The only way I try to get her to stop is the only time she jumps off on me is when I'm sitting at this desk. I don't know why. <clears throat> Not even just when I'm having food, but sometimes because I'm sitting here talking to someone, I think, uh, you know, through the video, especially if I'm talking to Steve and his dog is around, they hear each other barking, whatever. Huh. You like Kalia? Right, now you want to come up? Yeah. Yeah, There's- watch. I watched the videos of the ride through, but the one with uh, Alex's story, man, I never watched that guy before. He's pretty interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alex is good. He doesn't do oh, so yeah. much anymore, though. He used to. Did his stories about the uh, Golden Horseshoe and the, the ghosts and stuff in through there? Yeah. <clears throat> now I'm going more... to trip out when I go in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because he used to work there, so... And then he was a uh, he was a guide for a while too, like a VIP guide. Okay, you're done. Get down. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you liked your food, obviously. You've had it before. Oh yeah. I was craving it today, so yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah, and it just worked out because I all these things and I, I really hope I can get that shake but like I said I'll go back there tomorrow see if it's there uh, or Thursday maybe too um, before we upload this because this should go up Friday so if I can add on to it I will is it, is it like a huh? shamrock shake like McDonald's has or what it's not a shamrock oh. it's well Here, I mean it's not me, shamrock uh, but I mean it's it's green and all that type of deal. Silver Sam. Oh, sorry. That's from uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Oh, 
Oh, what what just happened? There we go. For a so little time, like, uh, Girl Scout Thin Mint Shake. I, I'm not it's sure if green. it's chocolate or maybe... I, I'm not sure what... Maybe I should see what it actually says. Since it's Girl Scouts and Thin Mints, I thought it was going to be like green, but no. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's it's a chocolate base mint flavored with the pieces of the cookie in it. That's what I thought it was, which is good. I, I love chocolate and mint, so that, that's right up my alley. The only way I could have that would be like first off in the morning, but if I had something like that now, man, that is like, ooh, diabetic coma. <laughs> well, I mean, you can, you can get a small and like take a couple sips. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I went to a Carl's Jr. to go get a strawberry shake. Not today, but I mean, a week ago, and then they're like, oh, I'm sorry, that's the only flavor we're out of. I'm like, how is that the only <laughs> flavor you're out of? She goes, well, we have salted caramel pretzel, whatever. Stupid. I'm like, plus chocolate, plus vanilla. I said, all right, give me a salted caramel pretzel. Man, that thing was sweet. <laughs> Delicious, but it was sweet. Uh, and it got me. I forgot where I was. I think it was Carl's Jr. I might be wrong. Somebody had strawberry lemonade. And um, and I was like, oh, can I get a large? They're like, oh, we have one size and it's small. I'm like, what? why the fuck would you even do it? <laughs> can, well, can I get like five smalls then? I mean, like, what the hell? That's it. Well, at least, 32 uh, ounce cup. Give me one that size. Yeah, like, why Why would you not just allow me to get a larger size and charge me more? Like, what? They could have. They could have. They're just being asses. Uh, I'll just go to uh, Del Taco where you can get, like, the macho size, you know? There's a 55-gallon drum size. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, what? I don't understand. Just we have one size. But you have bigger cups, right? I mean, you physically have bigger cups. Can you just put it in there and charge me more? <laughs> I don't care if I have to pay for two of them. Just give me we'll more. Yes, the manager on that one. Yeah. Well, we have to uh, inventory our cups. I don't care, <laughs> lady. <laughs> like, I'm. There, are, there actually are places that do stupid inventory on cups. Man, they got like serial numbers on them on some of these well, places. I, even if they inventory their cup, how do they know I'm not like not getting soda? Right. I don't know. I just think it's dumb. Stupid. So, anyway, I like my food. Just needs better sauce placement. Add some sauce and bacon down there towards the bottom, and you'd be good. Other than that, it's good to go. So, uh, if you like jalapeno poppers, everybody, you got to go to Jack in a Box. You like cheddar cheese. <laughs> cheddar cheese. They take that whole half of a jalapeno, man. They cut it in half. They scoop out the seeds. Big fat chunk of cheddar cheese, battered and dumped. Yummy. Well, I mean, if you like jalapenos, then get the spicy version of what I got. I, I mean, I'm high. not into, well, those probably have seeds, but. I probably do. I'm not hip on. I just say scoop all the seeds out, so this jalapeno is not super spicy. But I bet you the ones you got have probably had those little round discs with seeds in it. I bet. I think it, I think it showed. Yeah. I mean, it's called spicy, so. Yeah, no, not for me. Mm. Not for me either. Even though I, I ate jalapeno food. poppers, those things aren't really that bad. Yeah. Oh, well, all right. Um. I guess we will call this one. Call it good. <laughs> good, good, good. Unless I got the shake, then I, I will enter that right here.
it's good. Yeah, this is pretty good. Exactly what I thought it would be. It's got mint, uh, little chunks of the cookie, and of course a chocolate shake. Um, their ice cream is really thick though. It's really hard to get it out of the straw until it starts melting. But as it starts melting, it's really good. Carry on, carry on. Let's know uh, what we can try, what where we can eat next, what we can stuff our fat food. Uh, go back a little bit. Start over. Like, subscribe, and uh, comment below. Let us know where. Hit that thumbs up. Yeah, hit the thumbs up. But uh, let us know uh, what we can try, what where we can eat next. What we can stuff our fat faces with, and um, uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any burp left in me. Oh, I I have all the burps. <laughs> I can do it on cue. <laughs> so there we go. Nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway. <laughs> We'll see you on the next one, I guess. Later. <laughs> Later.